This afternoon we had a session on um, capture fisheries and aquaculture. When you look at the, the policy agenda at uh, the global level, but also at the national level, fishery is clearly a topic that is missing, both in terms of uh, policy formulation, but also in terms of investments. So we think that uh, this platform is a, a very good platform for us to bring forward that issue of focusing on fishery sector, but also on aquaculture because of its growing importance in terms of food security in the world, both in developing countries, but also in developed countries. The link between uh, the research and the policy is extremely important, I think, because uh, the researchers can really make things uh, clear to us where we can better target our interventions and where we can put the money to and helping us understanding the, the difficult problems, and the difficult challenges we are facing. One concrete example on the project that we are, we are, we are working on in, in Benin, on inland fishery, we are integrating socio-economic and biophysical data to increase our understanding on how the decrease in terms of capture, in terms of um, uh, the capacity of the inland lakes, the relation with that biophysical information with the, the capture, uh, the, the actual capture in the fishery sector in, in Benin. And uh, the preliminary finding that we are, we are having is that the, 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 there's a strong mismatch between the way we are promoting fishery capture and the way that um, the, and the, the pace of decrease in the inland uh, uh, water capacity. So we, we, we really like that kind of evidence-based information to come up with concrete solutions that we can propose to policymakers and make sure that what they are promoting at the, the community level, at the organizational level, is responding to the current challenges. Now maybe I can mention an example between a good cooperation between uh, research and, and, uh, and a policymaker is a project in Vietnam where we try to uh, make the aquaculture chain more innovative. And we were funding uh, an uh, innovation uh, competition in uh, Vietnam, but we could only do that based on proper research to uh, make clear where the, the, the big and the major challenges in the chain were. And based on uh, making that clear, we could uh, also identify the topics for the, for the competition, for example. And in the end, the, the competition was a great success. Um, and maybe I can add one thing, because it's not only research and policy. We're missing an important third party, and that's the private sector. And actually, we should have three uh, peas in a pot. <laughs> research, policy, and the private sector working together. And that's what we also try to do as, uh, from a policy perspective and from the Ministry of Agriculture. When you translate uh, the results of the aquaculture competition into policy, I think it, it brought up uh, really good information and also brought up innovative companies uh, that could further work with our embassy and our agriculture counselor within Vietnam, based in Hanoi, to develop further policy in the, in the, in the country itself, in this example in Vietnam.